Hi there and welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm having a lovely lazy Sunday so I've got quite minimal makeup on but I thought I'd do a few videos today. I'm going to start with a bit of a small haul and it's a haul I'm quite proud of and you'll find out why as I go along. It's a mix of products from Boots and Superdrug and a freebie from a magazine that I thought I'd share with you as well. These bits were purchased over sort of two weeks or so so you will see things that I've already done reviews on but I've just not included them in a haul video. I'm going to start with my bits from Superdrug. I picked up two lip pencils from Bar M, there's their lip liners, and I got number two and number three. I didn't see any names on them, but the top one, which is a nice vibrant pink, that's number two, and the bottom is number three, which is a really bright red. I got these because I've been wearing more and more bright lips, and I wanted something to make sure my lipstick didn't go anywhere. And I've just done some swatches. So this is number two, which is the pink, and this is number three, which is the red. I don't have very many lip liners, so I'm looking forward to trying these out more. I got a navy um, eyeliner and it's in denim blue and it's from Rimmel. It's one of their soft coat pencils and it is a lovely colour. I have worn this a few times already and it's really easy to work with, very soft and smudges out beautifully. So it's just a swatch of it there and that's denim blue. Next I have two nail varnishes. The first is from Rimmel and it's a Salon Pro and it's Cocktail Passion. This is a stunning corally peachy colour. I really really love it and it has one of the broad brushes and it's really really easy to use I like this brush I have a blue jelly high shine from Barry M and it's some blue grape again I've worn this and love it really really good opaque after two coats this one's also opaque after two coats finally from Superdrug I have this uh, metallic pomegranate colour tattoo eyeshadow from Maybelline I haven't even used this yet, but it's so beautiful. I haven't seen this anywhere else. I've been sort of keeping an eye on the colour tattoos because I really enjoy using these products. And this is just a lovely, a lovely ready colour. I wouldn't even know how to describe that properly. But yeah, I'm looking forward to using this. Cannot wait. Now for my bits from Boots. And this is the part of the haul I'm particularly proud of and you'll understand why in a wee minute. I got a thermal spa water from Vichy. And I've seen quite a few people mention this and I have been using it since I got it. It definitely does, when it dries in, it definitely does leave a bit more shine to my face. So I do like to go over it again with a bit of translucent powder. But it's so nice on those really hot, warm, humid days just to cool your face down. It doesn't dry my skin out, doesn't cause any irritation. So I like, I like this product. I'll let you know how I get on. I have two nail varnishes from Maybelline. Uh, the Colour Show range. And this is Electric Yellow. And speckled pink. I have already mentioned these in a review video. I love them. I recommend checking them out. I have a new Revlon Just Bitten Kiss by Balm stain in Lovesick, and this is a fantastic bright pink with a blue sort of undertone. And this wears really well. It's not too opaque. You can obviously build it up. I've just built it up a wee bit on my hand, and it's just a stunning colour. I love it. Another product I picked up is a Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream. Again, I've been using this. I do enjoy it, however, I wouldn't use it on a daily basis because it does take quite a while to sink into your skin. The smell is just glorious. You can see there is quite a sort of thick cream and it is lovely to use. It's fantastic after you get out of the bath or you know, if you've had a lovely shower on the weekend, you can just take your time and let your moisturiser sink in and everything. Just don't have time for that in the week. Now for the bit that I'm proud of. I was getting mostly toiletries on my shop and I just wanted to get a few wee bits and pieces to keep me taking over so I wasn't craving too much. But I got quite a few samples. Instead of spending a fortune, I asked for samples and I'm pleased that I did. I went to the Smashbox counter because I was kind of looking for another BB cream. Although I love my number seven, I find sometimes it looks a wee bit dark. Maybe it's just me being paranoid, I'm not sure. But the girl at the counter in Boots was fantastic. Because I wanted to try this out and I didn't want to purchase a full size, I'm sure all of you are aware Smashbox do travel sizes as well as full sizes of pretty much all of their products. Unfortunately, the one that I wanted, which was the lightest shade, they didn't have a travel size version of it because it wouldn't have been very popular to resell or whatever, I don't know. So she depotted a little bit for me. And this is like a wee baby cream. 
that I've been trying out. And the reason I'm quite pleased with it, it has a really good SPF. I think it's either SPF 30 or SPF 50. It's probably 30. Either way, good SPF in it. And I have tried this a few times and continue to try it out. And I'll let you know how I get on. Yeah, really, really pleased that I managed to get a good sample of that. And she also got me a sample of, um, they have a face highlighting product. And I sort of was looking at it in him and I. So she decided to give me a sample of that as well. And it's just in the pot. I'm going to try and show it to you. You can sort of see some of the shimmer there. I dab my fingers into this, press my fingers together, and then I'll pat along here, along the top of my cheeks, down my nose a wee bit, the usual places that you highlight. And I'm trying this out, and I have enjoyed using this with this, or with any sort of BB cream, or you know, generally anything. I've been trying it out. So far, so good. I will let you know how I get on. I got a few bits at Origins for my mum while I was there and the lady was kind enough, I was asking about the eye cream and everything, the Jin, Jin Zen one, my enunciation is woeful, we'll live with it, but she gave me a little sample of this to try out and I have to admit I've been really really enjoying using this. Somebody mentioned it to me in a video quite a while ago that I should try it out, was it a video or? I can't remember now, but whoever it was, thank you very, very much. Um, I've been really enjoying using this. I tend to use it at night after I've given my face a lovely clean and I've put on my serum. So I'll then go in and put this in around my eye socket all the way in and all the way out because I tend to get dry patches in here. So this has been really helping with that. I've also noticed, I don't know if it's gen general lift to my eyes. They seem to be brightening slightly and... Yeah, I don't have massive wrinkles or anything, but they have been helping with some fine lines. I know you're not going to get rid of the wrinkles, but, you know, they've generally eased them slightly. So I'll continue using this, and there's every likelihood that I will buy the full size. Origins are bringing out a Jin Zing Energy Boosting Moisturiser for your face. So she gave me two samples to try out, and my current face moisturiser is running out, so I'll definitely be trying these out once that's up. Looking forward to trying those. And I popped over to the Clarins counter and I was looking for the Gentle Exfoliator Brightening Toner. And the lady was really good and she gave me a sample to try out first. Again, I have been using this. Just thought I'd pop it back in the box for you. I've used it twice, I think. You can see it's just a wee sample size there. It's got 10ml in it. And I've used it maybe three times actually. I try to use it once or twice a week. And I do notice the next day my face definitely feels a bit brighter. I use it of an evening before I go to bed. Um, you know, after all my makeup's off, my face had a really good clean. I use this, add my serums and moisturiser and go to bed. And definitely the next morning my skin is brighter. It feels like it's just fresher skin, I think is the best explanation I can give. Thoroughly enjoying using this and there's every likelihood I would buy the full size. Yeah, love this. This is a recommendation again from Rouge Pout, Rebecca from Rouge Pout, so check her channel out if you haven't already. She does a really good blog as well. But yeah, love that. So I'm really proud of myself that I asked for samples and got loads of samples rather than buying the products. Very proud of myself. And something that I got free with a magazine, I think it was Red or Vogue or somewhere. You would have seen it on Instagram. I posted it up. My memory is terrible today. It's an Elemis Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash Balm. And it's supposed to be anti-aging. You can use it as a light daily moisturizer or radiance booster or makeup primer. Seems to do all sorts of every kind of wonderful thing. But I'll be looking forward to trying this out. You just got a small sample, it's a 15 mil sample. So yeah, that is everything in my haul. I'm going to now show you what I have on my face because I tend to forget to put this in the box below and by the time I remember I've forgotten what I've put on my face. So if you want to see what's on my face keep watching, if not thank you very very much for watching, please like if you like, please subscribe if you like and you can check out all my links down below. So on my face I am currently trying out the Smashbox Oil Free Primer, the Photo Finish Primer, this is just a small travel size and I've been really enjoying that so that's on my primer. Uh, my foundation for today is my matte 
powder from Bare Minerals and this is in Fair. In around my eyes I have used some Well Rested just to brighten the area. Again this is from Bare Minerals. On my eyes I have MAC Painterly Paint Pot as my primer and then I've got in with my oh, Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. I have Foxy over the moving part of my lid. I've gone in with Faint on my crease. I've used my Bare Minerals Big and Bright eyeliner just to line the top lash line and slightly in at the corner of my lower lash line and then I've gone back in with my Basics palette. I've used Crave just to go over the top of that eyeliner and smoke it out ever so slightly. On my lashes I decided to add a little pop of colour and I'm using the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara and this is in Aqua Blast. I think this is part of their Wild Thing collection and it's this fantastic blue beautiful blue and it doesn't appear too strong on my eyes if I just I'll move closer it doesn't appear too bright on my eyes it just adds a nice bit of colour don't know if you can even see on my cheeks I have used my Lush Charm Liquid Blush and it just comes with a little doe foot applicator and it's this lovely baby pink kind of colour and for highlighter I've used my Rose Illumination Highlighter from Elizabeth Arden which is this beautiful pinky gold highlighter and finally for lips I've used my L'Oreal Glam Shine in Juicy Rose Glow and it's just a nice sort of soft pink it's not too opaque but it adds a nice wee bit of colour and a wee bit of shine to my lips and that's everything so thank you very very much for watching guys as I said please like if you like please subscribe if you like and I will see you in my next video.